In this video, I'm going to go through a series of examples of solving modulus equations. Okay, so we're going to start off with number one. The mod of 5x minus 2 is equal to 3. Now, with all of these cases, really um, get into the habit of drawing a sketch uh, to really make sure you know what's going on. So, for this one, the situation would look like this. We've got this mod of 5x minus 2. So if we just think of y equals 5, mod of 5x minus 2, then it's going to be going through 2 fifths on the x-axis, because that's when, if x is 2 fifths, then the mod of, well, 5 lots of 2 fifths take away 2 is 0, right? So that's where it is on the x-axis. And it's going to have this v-shape. OK, you can put in that, well, when x is 0, you're going to get mod of minus 2. So that's going to be 2 there. And then you've got 3, y equals 3, representing that right-hand side of the equation. And you can see that your line and the modulus graph will intersect at two points. So how do we do that? How do we find those two points? Well, this line here would be representative of y equals 5x minus 2, because that's the positive gradient. So we'd have 5x minus 2 intersecting with y equals 3. So this equation will find me that result. So add 2 to both sides gets me 5. So 5x equals 5. And so x equals 1. So that's 1. This line has negative gradient. And so it will have the equation of y equals minus 5x plus 2. So minus 5x plus 2 will be the equation of that line there. And that's intersecting with y equals 3. So I now need to solve that equation. So it's just like uh, changing the sign of one side of the equation. Okay. So take 2 from both sides. And then divide both sides by minus 5. So x equals minus one-fifth. So x equals 1 and x equals minus one-fifth are the solutions to that first equation. OK? Right, let's have a look at number 2. So the mod of 4 minus 7x is equal to 10. Now, you could just go in straight with this one and do 4 minus 7x equals 10, minus 4 plus 7x equals 10, solve those equations, and you'll get your two results. Okay? I'm still going to go with the graphical approach just to kind of get us into the swing of doing this. So y equals mod of 4 minus 7x. It'll hit the x-axis when this is all 0, so that will be at 4 sevenths. And so what we'll get is a V-shape like that. Now, I know that the minus sign is in front of the X here. OK, we've got a negative 7X, so we had a positive 5X there. However, that doesn't make any difference to uh, which direction that V-shape is going, because regardless, the modulus of 4 minus 7X will just produce positive results, and, uh, well, except for 0 at 4 sevenths. So it will still be completely in the uh, positive area of the axis, OK? In the top half, apart from where it's crossing at x, uh, the x-axis. So uh, where is it crossing the y-axis? Well, that's going to be at 4, OK? Because when x is 0, we get a mod 4, which is 4. 10, so here's y equals 10. So we've got two intersection points. So we can look at the equation of that line. Now that line, it has positive gradient. So when, that'll be when we have positive 7x. So we'll have minus 4 plus 7x equals 10. This will find me the equation, uh, the uh, coordinates of that point there. Add the 4 to both sides. Divide both sides by 7. So that's 2. x is 2. This line will have equation y equals 4 minus 7x. And we'll look at when that's 10. So take 4 from both sides. 
divide both sides by minus 7. So minus 6 sevenths. And there's the x coordinate for that point of intersection. OK? So that's number 2. OK, so number 3. Uh, 2 take away mod of 2x minus 9 is equal to minus 8. So what I probably do here, it looks more difficult than it actually is. I would rearrange it first, OK? Um, I would add the 8 to both sides and then move the modulus over to the other side and reduces it to this equation, OK, which is easier to think about and work with. So let's draw our graph. 2x minus 9 will be 0 at 9 halves. We'll have a v-shape. It's going to be going through 9 on the uh, y-axis. And y equals 10. So we've got two points of intersection. So this line will be 2x, y equals 2x minus 9. We want that when it's 10. So add the 9 to both sides, divide both sides by 2. So that's 19 halves. And this line has negative gradient, so we'll have minus 2x plus 9. Take the 9 from both sides, and then divide both sides by minus 2. So that point will be minus a half. OK? So that's how we can do number three. OK, so number four. Number four, um, we've got mod of 3x minus 1 is equal to x. OK, so let's think about what that one looks like. So 3x minus 1 uh, will cross the x-axis at a third. And then we'll have our regular v-shape. OK, it's going to be going through 1 on the y-axis. Now, the right-hand side is y equals x. So y equals x would look something like that. OK? So we can see that there are two intersection points. Now, you need to be clear on our, your sketches, because this one here, y equals mod of 3x minus 1, will have steeper gradient, because it's got gradient 3 and minus 3. So it'll have steeper gradient to y equals x. So if you're going to draw a sketch, make sure you accentuate which one has the larger, uh, well, the steeper gradient. So this line here is, has positive gradient. So that's where we've got 3x minus 1. And that's going to be equal to, well, x. So take the x from both sides, add the 1 to both sides. So x is a half. And this line has negative gradient, so that's minus 3x plus 1 equals x. Add the 3x to both sides, and then divide both sides by 4. OK? So the sketch really does act like a checking tool to make sure that your results that you get seem reasonable. And once you get in the habit of it, they become pretty quick to do. Uh, right, number five. OK, so for this one, we have uh, y equals mod of 4x plus 3. So that will be going through the x-axis at minus 3 quarters. Going through the y-axis at 3. Um, it's going to have a steeper gradient to y equals 2x plus 10. 
So y equals 2x plus 10 would be a line that looks something like that. Okay, so there's going to be two intersection points. Okay, let's go through 10 on the y-axis. So if we have a look at this one first, we've got the positive gradient of the uh, 4x plus 3. And that's going to be where it's intersecting 2x plus 10. Take the 2x from both sides. Take 3 from both sides. So x is 7 halves. And for the second point, we've got a negative gradient. So that's minus 4x minus 3. Okay, and that's intersecting 2x plus 10. Take the 2x from both sides. Add the 3 to both sides. So x will be minus 13 sixths at that point there. Okay, so that's how we can deal uh, with number five. Quick tea break. Okay. Um, so, number six. Now, number six, we've got two modulus graphs, uh, one on either side of the equation. Now, y equals mod of x minus 8. Uh, we'll be crossing through the x-axis at 8. All right. So that one looks like that. And x plus 19 will be crossing the x-axis at minus 19. Now what you need to be careful of here, and notice, is that your two v-shapes will have the same gradient, right? This line will have the gradient 1, that's got gradient 1, minus 1, and minus 1. So you've got two pairs of parallel lines. So what you'll get, so that's uh, 19, what you'll get is just one point of intersection. Okay? Now, with this, you've got to be careful about, if you're trying to find any kind of shortcut, without drawing the graph, heaven forbid, um, you can end up with uh, equations that don't make sense. So be careful here. So what's this one? Well, that's y equals x plus 19, right? And this one, it has negative gradient, so that's minus x plus 8. OK? So once you've got the graph, it's easy to identify the equation of the line. Add x to both sides. Take 19 from both sides. And then divide both sides by 2. So that's minus 11 halves. OK? So that's how we can deal with number 6. Right, now number seven. We've got 2x, mod of 2x minus 5. So that'd be crossing through the x-axis at 5 halves. And crossing through the y-axis at 5. So when x is 0, we get mod of minus 5, so just 5. And then we've got mod of x plus 7 which goes through uh, minus 7. Um, and all right, let me draw this reasonably accurately then. Uh, so it's going to have a shallower gradient. Oh, I didn't do that very well. Let me try that again. Oh, let me try that again from scratch. Might be easier if I just draw the uh, x plus 7 first, I think. Right, so there's mod of x minus uh, x plus 7. And then two, mod of 2x minus 5. Something like that. So mine, uh, sorry, positive 5 halves. There's 5. OK, so we've got two intersection points. Right, so... 
this line here, we've got positive gradient for both of the lines, okay? So we've got positive gradient for the 2x minus 5, which is that bit, and then we've got positive gradient for the x plus 7. So that gives me that equation there. Take the x on both sides, add the 5 to both sides, and you're going to get x equals 12. So that's that intersection point there. Now for the second intersection point, we've got the negative gradient of that one, so that'd be minus 2x plus 5, and the positive gradient of the second one. So if we take x from both sides, take 5 from both sides, we can divide both sides by minus 3, and so that will be at minus 2 thirds. Okay, so that's how we can deal with question number seven. Right, so finally, number eight. Now, number eight, I've made a little bit more troublesome because I've got this uh, plus two on the end, okay? However, with a sketch, this shouldn't actually be too bad, okay? So, what have I got? I've got the 6x plus 5. It's probably easier if I deal with the uh, one with a smaller gradient first, really, this x minus 7 plus 2. Now, modulus graphs uh, work in the same way, uh, like in completed square forms. So, this has its vertex at 7, 2. Um, we can... Because when x is 7, this will be 0, and I'll get 2. So its minimum point will be when x is 7. So we've got this point at 7, 2. So let's say there. There's 7, 2. And the modulus graph looks something like that. And it's going to be going through. Um, when x is 0, we get mod of minus 7, so 7 plus 2, which is 9. OK, now the mod of 6x plus 5 will go through minus 5 sixths. It'll have steeper gradient. So minus 5 sixths. And it'll be going through uh, 5 on the y-axis. So we'd be expecting two points of intersection. So this point here... We've got the positive gradient of the 6x plus 5, so 6x plus 5. And we've got the negative gradient of the other line. So that's when we've got minus x plus 7 plus 2. So minus x plus 7 plus 2, so plus 9. So add the x to both sides. Take 5 from both sides. Divide both sides by 7. So x is 4 sevenths. So, for the second point, we've got the negative gradient of the 6x plus 5, so minus 6x minus 5, and we've got the negative gradient of the second graph, which was minus x plus 9. Add the x to both sides, add the 5 to both sides, divide both sides by minus 5. So that second point is minus 14 fifths. And so they are the two solutions to question number eight.